Okay, welcome back, Saggies. Uh, here we are again to do another tarot reading for you. Um, this is going to be for roughly a week from around whenever you watch this. So whenever you are so inclined to pick up on it, it's because it was time for you to see. And it's going to be for roughly a week. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcoming cross watchers and calling in guides, angels, anyone from the highest good that has a message to come forward for Sagittarius for about a week, please. So the first jumper card we had was the, um, you know, it's the seven of rods, but what I notice is that it's laid this way. And that is significant, I guess is the word for me, because it's like laying down the rods. Because typically in a, a, a tarot deck, the seven of rods is like being defensive. And he's got them all, you know, he's ready to fight. And he's going to whack somebody. But with it being like this, it's like, I just heard the word surrender. That is like a million cards. I'm just looking at many cards. Surrender. What else do we have for such cherries, please? Mm. Ten of Cups, baby. But this is strange. It's like the Ten of Cups is coming from somewhere that you didn't expect, maybe, didn't want, maybe from a Virgo, but I also want to be like abundance is like you have to go out of the house to get abundance. Um, it's like, this is like two different messages that equal 10 of cups, like leave the house to plant seeds, surrender, and then you get the 10 of cups. So I think maybe there's some Saggies this week who are... I don't want to be like not feeling so good because, you know, I got this like, you know, we're just vibing type feeling, but not being out and about. And I would say that at the beginning of the week, we're probably, you know, like this being defensive. I just heard the worst is coming. <clears throat> The worst is coming. Maybe we are being defensive about we think that there's a closed door. Like we don't have the right key to get inside. Therefore, we're not going to get this abundance. And then we surrender to that fact. But you still have the Ten of Cups over here. Which is like, you know, Ten of Cups stuff. Great stuff. So we're going to need to get some clarifiers on these. But I think, I think I just, and I, and I also feel like real chill, you know, like, uh, I just heard figures. Like maybe a little salty. Feeling salty. Like I just, I just want to be like, I just don't have the right key to get in and this feels distant for me and it's almost like giving into that or like and and I was thinking surrender like falling into but it's more like falling surrendering to this that it's just not going to happen the door's closed Doors closed, don't have the right key, don't have the right seeds, no abundance for me. But here yet, 
is the Dagon Buddha. It's all over the place. Right. Let's see what kind of what the fairies have to say. Fairies, elementals. I just saw that card. Union. So, okay. First and foremost, when this card flipped over, I, I saw it. And I just it was like, that's my card. And the message that I'm getting with it is like, first and foremost, notice how this mystical union energy is in the dark. It's being formed in the dark. But it certainly is bright. And that's this. It's like Saggy's being kept in the dark. That might even be what I title this because this, I mean, this is like total surrender. Like, well, that was that. <laughs> Good to know you while I knew ya. Like somebody that I used to know. Oh, geez. I went there. You see what I'm saying? Like, there, it's just, you didn't have to cut me off. But, oh, that song's going to be stuck in my head forever now. Um, but here, here's the point, Saggy. I think that's what Saggy feels like, that that happened. Like they got cut off or like they're left waiting or something like that. But it's, I think it's, it's like it's being mystically cooked in the background. And Saggy's not aware. Somebody's not aware. What else the fairies have to say? Yeah, and so this is the singer of courage. Like, don't be, don't, don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't go into the, don't go down the rabbit hole, man. <coughs> because, and be brave. It's the singer of courage. Because I think there's probably going to be some more waiting, you know? But this is, this is here. It's in the background. It's in the ether. It's in your space. It's in your energy. It's in your energy enough to show up in a reading, okay, for a week. So that means it's close. And, whoa. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, because we have the lamb. So Saji is feeling like crap, right? But I think the reason maybe that... It was so easy for Saji to go here is because this is who she is or he is. And that down there at the bottom is like dirty derp. Well, told you. Every, every time you try and fly off, you end up losing a piece of your wing. And so that's what I'm saying about the rabbit hole. Like that's it feels like Saji went to the dark place real fast with this. I can't find the key. I can't find the I can't find the key. I don't have the right key. Therefore, this isn't for me. Okay, I surrender to that. Blah. And then just like melt into a pool of sadness. But this is still here. Right there it is. Curiouser and curiouser. Oh my goodness. Singer of initiation. So, well, that was a crappy first level. You know what I mean? There was a situation here. This is a, first and foremost, this is the singer of initiation. So you have the initial moments. Notice how these are in like levels, level one, level two, level three, and then like a big moment and then like a capping moment and then like, you know, end game, I guess whatever levels, right? And so this is like, it was like step one was whatever happened. And at the end of that level, you're like, oh shit, I don't have the key. I don't have the key to move on to level two. I can't level up. That really sucks for me. Okay, I surrender to that back to my sad place. 
but this is this this is the singer like like wait hold on I'm, this is the energy of you did good with this. You did the, you did this and now you get to move on. You know, so I'm curious as to why um, Saji thinks that they don't have the key. This is making me crazy. Why does Saji, Sagittarius, or this person why do they think they don't have the key not this deck all right why does Saji not think they have the key oh see eight of pentacles again the, the this girl person right here thinks that they haven't leveled up haven't moved on isn't going to move forward the door is closed because they're not seeing the abundance when the Eight of Pentacles tree is totally bloomed, it's there. You can see it. It's tangible. And she can't see it, so she's just like sitting in the moonlight. I heard betrayed. Betrayed by the moon. So, um, for this week, Sagittarius... I think what this is getting at is that you're going to be all kinds of in your feels and you're going to be feeling like this is done, door closed. But we have this in the background and this union and this 10 of cups, that's full filled emotional, whatever. So um, I'm going to extend this and see what that's all about. I'm going to clarify all of these and I'm going to also use the after tarot and see what happens um, after this week. Okay. So if you would like to follow me, the, uh, link for the extended is in the box below. If this is it for us this week, um, just hold on, wait till the following week because you have some confirmations here that better things are coming. So just like, you know, work on yourself, work on your love, work on your life this week and just wait for, wait, just, just wait for it. Right. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.